now in our previous video we have seen how to insert the categories inside the database table we have also checked for the condition if that category is present the same category should not be inserted inside the table okay now let me just show you whatever we have done now here i am having let me just come to index page now when i click on insert categories i am having this form now i have inserted fruits inserted juices inserted vegetables now i'll just insert milk product i'll just click on insert category here i'll be having this message category has been inserted successfully okay now inside the database if i refresh this one milk products will also be added you can see milk product is added now again if i just try to insert this milk product you can see this category is present inside the database and i can't add milk product again only one time i can insert the categories now in the same way we are just going to see how to insert the brands now from insert categories i am just going to copy the same thing now inside insert brands i am just going to paste the code here okay you can paste above or below based on your requirement i am just including the file now inside this button let me just remove this instead of this i am just going to uncomment this one now instead of insert categories i will be writing here insert brands i will just remove this class from here now let me just save this i will just come here i will refresh this now when i click on insert brands here i am having this insert brands input field i will just change the button styling for this button i don't want any border so i will be giving here border to be 0 and also i will be giving padding of 2 and margin y of 3 i will save this i will refresh this one now here i am having this insert brands button now for this input field we have given okay name insert cat i am having let me just change it to insert brand i will just copy this one and here i will be pasting that one okay whenever i click on this button only then i have to access the brand title i will be writing here brand title i will just copy this one and here i am just going to paste brand title i will just copy this one and inside this input field we are having this name attribute inside that i'm just going to pass the same value okay whatever i have written here i'm just going to pass the same thing and whenever we are accessing this one whatever value we are having here the same value we have to pass inside this one then again i'm just going to write here brands okay i'm just doing basic changes where my brand title okay whatever column name i'm having here that should be exactly matching with that one inside this brands table i'm having brand title i'll just copy this and here I'm going to paste that one. Instead of this category title, I have to paste this brand title. Then again, instead of this, I'll be writing this brand is present inside the database. Then insert, insert into brands. I have to insert inside brands table. Here I'll be writing this column name. Copy this. Here I'll be pasting. I'll just copy this brand title. And here I'm just going to paste. Then rest everything will be same. Here I'll be writing brand brand has been inserted successfully and here everything is same i'll just come here i'll refresh this now i'm just going to insert the brand swiggy insert brand you can see brand has been inserted successfully okay i'll come i'll refresh the database now you can see that brand is been added now again if i just try to insert swiggy you can see this brand is already present okay let me just change the spelling here here i am having proper spelling brand has been in okay here i'll just change the spelling i'll save this i'll just click on ok i'll refresh this now again if i just try to insert swiggy this brand is present inside the database okay this is how we are going to check for the condition i have done this complete explanation when we inserted the categories if you want better explanation of this what we have done here why we have selected that you can refer the previous video and we have done the same thing i have just changed the names here and rest everything is same okay this is how we are going to insert the brands now what we are going to do is now inside our root index.php whatever data we are having inside the database we are just going to display here okay inside delivery brands we are going to display here and also inside categories we are going to display that data.